another very interesting feature of python that is the python at property so what is at property how to use it in python coding so let us give you one demonstration one sample code its execution its explanation to describe what is the at property of python the use of property in our python programming has made the object oriented programming more easy in case of python so now let us go into the demonstration of the use of the property so here we have defined one class the name of the class is temperature celsius so that is a temp celsius it is having one constructor here and we are passing one parameter temperature with the default argument is equal to zero and here we are having this self dot underscore temperature is equal to temperature so this instance variable underscore temperature underscore indicates that this temperature is under the private scope and is getting initialized with this input argument input parameter that is a temperature and here we are having one method that is a convert to fahrenheit which will convert this uh, respective centigrade temperature to the fahrenheit here we are having two methods one is a getter method that is a get temperature and another one is a setter method that is a set temperature getter method will print this text and it will return the respective value in the temperature and this setter method will check whether the value which will be passed as input argument is less than minus 273 or not if it is so it will raise one error that is a value error with this respective message otherwise it will print this message and initialize this temperature with this new value which will be passed as input argument so now here we are going to have our property property is nothing but one built-in function which creates and returns a property object the basic method signature is our f get is equal to null and then f set is equal to none and then f del is equal to none and doc is equal to none now what is the f get f get is nothing but a function to get the value of the attribute if set is a function to set the value of the attribute so there is a f set so if get is a function to get the value of the attribute that is a getter method if set is nothing but a function to set the value of the attribute that is a setter method if drill is a function to delete the attribute and doc is nothing but one string which is like a comment here so now this particular property has got three methods that is a getter setter and delete so three methods are there so here we are defining one m make empty property so there is a temperature is equal to property and then assign the f get so temperature is equal to temperature dot getter get temperature so get temperature means this particular method name we are passing this one as get temperature then assign f set so temperature is equal to temperature dot setter set temperature so this method will be set as a set temperature so now we are going for c is equal to temp celsius 5 so c is the new object of the class that is a temp celsius 5 so this 5 will be assigned to this temperature this particular mes message will get printed on the screen and then we are having this one self under dot underscore temperature that is a private scope temperature is equal to temperature so now let me go for the execution you can find that assigning temperature value that means this constructor has got executed so the next one is that print c dot temperature so whenever we are trying to print the value of the temperature so actually we are executing the getter method so getting temperature value so this particular message should be uh, printed and then it will return the temperature value so as a result of that as we have we have called this one from this print method so this five will get printed before that getting temperature value is also got printed so now c dot temperature is equal to 100 so now this 100 will be assigned so we are calling actually the set temperature because we are having we are setting this temperature so set temperature method will be called by default automatically because it has been set through the property that is a built-in function and this value will be passed and here we have passed the value that is 100 so that's why if the value is less than less than minus 273 this condition is not getting true so the print setting temperature value this message will be printed yes it has got printed here and now the value will be assigned to the temperature so now when you are again printing this c dot temperature so you are getting the uh, we are getting this particular get uh, temperature method is getting called so getting temperature value and the self dot underscore temperature will be returned and as a result of that we are getting this 100 so now you see we are making this one as minus 300 so now what will happen 
In this case, the value added will be raised because it is lesser than minus 273. So minus 300 is lesser than 273. So that's why it is producing that uh, that value added. So there is a temperature below minus 273 is not possible. So that message is getting printed here. So in this way, we have shown that how this property is getting used here. Okay. Instead of writing this, uh, this respective statements, I'm just making them under comment. I can do the same just writing a single statement here. So there is a temperature is equal to property. So the first argument will be F get. I'm passing that one as a get parameter. The second argument is our F set. So we are passing this parameter that is our set temperature. So now this, these are the getter method. This is a setter method. Now if I execute, I'm get, going to get the same output here. Now see if I go on printing print c dot underscore underscore dict this underscore underscore. So if you go on printing, I'm finding that we are, I'm find I'm finding one tuple is getting printed where this all the instance variable defined in this class is getting printed with the respective value. So it is a key value pair. So just if I go for defining another one, another instance variable say temp. With the value say 500 if i execute the code here you can find that we're having temperature with the value 100 and temp with the value 500 so whenever we print some um, some member variable from this object actually we're accessing that is the object name dot underscore underscore dict underscore underscore so if i do not want to print all of them i can print only the temperature here so i shall go for this temperature So I, shall, I can print only the temperature here. You can find that it will print only the value 100. So if I go on printing only the temp, so that can also be done. So I think that will print 500 here. Okay, so that has printed the 500. Okay, now let us concentrate on this uh, property. So we are having two ways to uh, to have this built-in function so that is the one is the temperature is equal to property get temperature there is a getter method and the set temperature there is a setter method you can pass otherwise we can make an one empty property object and then we can go for this temperature dot getter and temperature for setter to uh, give the name of the to pass the name of the getter method and the setter method respectively so let us come to the next example here so here you see here, here we are having this init that is the constructed here the name of the class is Celsius to part Fahrenheit it, it is converting the Celsius temperature to the Fahrenheit here we are having this at the rate of property this is the at the rate and then we are having this property so obviously this particular this particular after writing this one we are writing only the temperature you see the method name is temperature we are not going for the respective getter set Gap temperature or get temperature methods so whenever you are writing this at the rate of property that means it is known as the getter method and whenever you are writing this at the rate of temperature dot setter that means it is the setter method so I need not to bother for this set uh, temperature or get temperature we will be having the method name as temperature here you see I didn't do any kind of changes in the respective function bodies so now C is equal to Celsius 5 so print C dot temperature so I'm just executing this code here. So you are see you are here the, the method that is a getting value is getting printed. So now you see the C dot temperature. That means this particular method is getting printed. That is a getter method. And here see I didn't write anything uh, anything that is a get underscore or something. I've given the function name as the temperature only at the rate of property will be the will be the annotation given at the first and next we are having this c dot temperature is equal to 100 so what will happen here it is a setting value is getting called and then whenever we are printing this print c dot temperature then this this 100 is getting printed after printing this message getting value so here you see here we, we are not calling the property method we are just using this at the rate of property and at the rate of temperature dot setter so using this particular 
uh, at the rate of property and at the rate of temperature dot setter we are just defining that which is the setter method and which is the getter method so as a result of that in our object oriented coding i need not to call the respective functions by their names i can easily use that is a c dot temperature for the printing or c dot temperature is equal to 100 for the assigning so accordingly the getter and setter methods are getting called so there is a nice usage of this property uh, method uh, in our uh, python coding to make the object oriented programming much much simpler thanks for watching this video